Okay guys, welcome back to the channel and to this painting review of these very, very cool paints from Turbo Dork. They're a very small company, but they're actually starting to make quite a name for themselves with their metallics and their um, color shift paints. And they were very, very kind and supplied us with a couple of different colors to review. Uh, and they've even gave us a few to give away as prizes at the Dark Arts and Open as well. So, we are going to have a look at some of the different colours. Lucy is going to have an experiment with a couple of them. Yep, and I just want to say, just these few that they've sent are fast becoming my favourite colours. Yeah. They do about eight metallics and about eight different um, colour shift colours as well. So, what have we got? Uh, well, we've got this lovely metallic blue called Cool Ranch. Uh, we've actually got the old Coat to Arms metallic purple. Uh, but this one just looks so, so intense. They do greens, reds, uh, and all sorts as well. So, very cool. Uh, we've got Red Rum, which is a metallic paint as well. It's almost colour shift. Uh, it is red, but as you can see, it looks very, very much uh, like a coppery red. So, I think that'll go very well on some industrial type terrain. Uh, we've got uh, Afterburner. Uh, which is a colour shift from a dark to a light gold. You can just see it on the reflection there. So I think that's going to be very, very interesting to do on some uh, on some gold minis. We've also got 3D glasses. Yes. And Lucy is going to show you how this works uh, by doing the wings for her Sylvanath Arch Revenant uh, with these. And I'm actually quite excited about this colour. I want to do Mortarian's wings yeah, with it. Yeah, we've already been talking about this and I think at the minute it's just anything that sort of colour is going to be that because it's yeah. freaking awesome. Uh, and then we've got Darknet which is a sort of dark silver through to a light silver or at least that's what it looks from, from here. Uh, it is difficult to tell. The colour shift paints look very, very different. Like the paint itself looks vastly different to what it actually comes out like uh, when you spray it on top of black. So I'm excited about that one. And then we've got Pearly Gates, uh, which is uh, um, pearlescent silver. You can see there, there's just a tiny hint of pink or purple in there. Uh, so we'll probably get that on some of Lucy's um, blades on the Arch Revenant as well, mm -hmm. uh, which I think will look quite nice. So the first one we're going to have a go of uh, is going to be the 3D glasses. Lucy's going to spray the wings and then we'll do some separate videos uh, for some of the other stuff as well. So here we go. We've got the paint ready. I'll put a drop of airflow improver in. It looks quite milky. It's obviously not going to be what colour it comes onto the model, but that's what it's meant to be. I am using the 3D glasses, which is the green to purple metallic. It's just so amazing on the course, so I'm really excited. And I am uh, primed my wings with matte black. Here we go. Look at that already. That's wow. And I think it looks like sparkly as well. So yeah. I know I've done a bit too heavy there, but. And now I'm stuck. So this side I'll just go a little bit lighter so you can have, see both types. Oh, how amazing is that? So there we go, it's had a few coats and I'm hoping you can catch it. The different colours, it's honestly amazing. Um, don't really need flow improvers in and this is the first um, airbrush paint that the bottle has actually agitators in it so give it a good shake in the bottle with the agitators it works amazing and then look at the results absolutely beautiful so let's move on to the next colour and up next we have the pearly gates which is the whitey silver pearly um, I'm going to be doing him on the Nagash spell for Age of Sigma. I'm only going to do his helmet because I'm kind of doing him in the same theme as my Nagash himself. Um, so, let's have a go. And 
and there we go that's a few coats of the silvery white it's amazing if you want something a bit more than plain white or plain silver just it's perfect and I don't know if the camera can pick it up but there's a little I'm gonna save a little a sparkle to it in the light and just now that with a coat of the clear over the top of whatever colour like blue or purple which I'm planning to do it's just going to give it that extra something and make it from wow to extra wow so let's move on to the next one alright and here we go I've jumped ahead and I finished the, the others instead of stopping starting the camera so we'll just quickly overview it's totally dry now Brilliant pearlesque silver, touch of white and tinge of purpley. It's one of my favourites now. And again, the 3D glasses shift. Absolutely love that. It's it's kind of got three colours: it's green, purple, and blue, depending on the light. But, yep. And there, obviously, the wings for my revenant for the new Sylvanath. Now. This, I've got two. Afterburner is the one for the barrel and the gun. It's um, a yellowy, goldy, greeny. And it's also got a bit red in, if you can see. And the panel itself, I've done the red one. So I had a little accident with the splatter, but it works because it's an orc stomper, so it's going to be bashed up. That's different. Uh, colours of red with a little bit gold again in and that looks brilliant I love that and dark net it's goldy grey uh, greeny don't know if you can quite make out had a few coats on but for a bit of scenery just sitting in the back on the battlefield when that catches the light it's going to be amazing there we go. And last but not least, which has now jumped to my number one spot for favourites. Cool Ranch. Look at that. That is phenomenal. I love it. It's just the metallic one. It's not a colour shift one. But it just looks amazing. Now imagine that, with the little top on the end glowing up, blend that in, that's just going to be amazing, I think I might actually do that. So there you go, that's a quick review of the colours they sent and they're absolutely amazing, easy to use, the went straight through the airbrush, maybe one or two, especially the white needed a drop of flow improver in, but because they've got the ball in the bottles as well it's just so easy if you want to have a look at say the website is turbodog.com and they do tons and tons and tons of different colors uh, they've got a bubblegum crisis which of course I'm gonna love they've got absinthe color and then they do different sets they've got electronic electron green anything you want tons of different shades of different colors blues purples browns reds blues shell shock what's that pink to blue shell shock um like i said go check them out great value i think i'll be ordering a few more of these maybe changing some color schemes up <laughs> anyway thanks for watching see you later